Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here with another City Highlight, and today we're focusing on Miami. The food scene has just been getting better and better and better. From the traditional to the really out there, you will absolutely eat well. And here are the top six places you should be eating in Miami right now. Caja Caliente is taking traditional Cuban flavors and ingredients and putting a fun new twist on them. I just like absolutely love their brunch, which has dishes like their guava cream cheese pancakes and their pan con lechon with an egg. I mean, oof, mama. I love the cream cheese just pouring out of it. God. Whoa. I love that sort of more like natural sweetness you're getting from the guava. And it's really balanced nicely with this sort of like sourness you're getting from the cream cheese, just like that little tiny bit at the end. Let's see if I could get this massive sandwich into my mouth. So many different flavor combinations. Unbelievable. You all know my love for Israeli restaurants and Motek Cafe has a brand new location serving their Israeli Mediterranean cuisine. I had to get their Arayas, which is a Lebanese street food delicacy that here comes stuffed with either beef or impossible beef, all in that super, super amazing soft pita. This is hefty, 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 hefty. Again, what I love most about this dish is this contrast of textures. Really crispy on the outside, but then nice, dense, chewy on the inside, both in the pita and in the meat because all the juices just get trapped inside of it when you sear it off and then finish it in the oven. So it just becomes like a super, it just becomes like a super moist bite. Crispy rice is like top, top foods I love. And one of the best ones I've found is at Makoto at Ball Harbor Shops. Brushed onto every single piece is brown butter and bird soy. Just so perfect. This is one of my favorite bites in the entire world. You know what you're getting when you have like spicy tuna, crispy rice, super crispy, all texture, a little heat, jalapeno adds like a nice little heat on top of the heat already. That brown butter, it's not overpowering. It was just, you know, very lightly put on there, but it adds such like a depth of flavor to this. Just like right at the end, it's one of those things like, ooh, because I didn't tell you it was on there, like, you'd be like, huh, there's something in this. There's something else in this bite that's making me feel like it's good, and that's what it is. God damn. Bodega might be one of my favorite places ever. Uh, not only are you getting amazing food like these beer tacos, just take in that bite. It's not very, but good. Mm. Just like a really nice, warm spice running through the whole thing. Love the crispiness of all the edges. Woo! And then a barrier. Just like, give me a spoon. Mmm. But come back here late at night, go through the porta potty, and you enter the secret lounge, which is one of my favorite places to party on South Beach. And when you leave at 4 a.m., get more tacos. If you're in Miami, you need your fill of Cuban food, and I love the next level approach La Sanguich is taking to these classic Cuban sandwiches. From the Cubano to the pan con bistec, uh, they're making almost everything in house, and you could really taste the difference. What's really cool is by using that lard instead of the butter, we're able to get like super, super crusty on the outside without burning it. So just like a really unique texture bite, and obviously the classic Cuban flavors, all just elevated, everything made in house like it's you can taste it. You taste it in that bite. You taste the difference. Mm. It is a damn good mm. bite. Immediately, it's that texture. That perfect texture of the bread. Nice crunchy potatoes in there, too. And just like layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. And it's like a little bit sweet. with the Ooh, what a bite. Mm. Want to feel like you're teleported to Tel Aviv? Uh, check out Abale and their amazing Israeli food. I went back multiple times on the last trip and I just can't get enough of everything, but especially their mesbacha hummus bowl. Hummus, tahini, herbs, garbanzo beans, and a perfect medium egg serves with a fire-baked Jerusalem bagel. It's all I want ever. Rich, creamy, mm. that nice nuttiness you want in the hummus, and then just like flavor after flavor after flavor after flavor. All these little nuances of a little sweet, a little herby, a little heat. God, it's so good. This bagel's legit too. 
It's like super, super, super light. Perfect for dipping. I can't wait to be back in Miami, partying, eating, and taking in the sunshine. Let me know in the comments where I should eat next and sub because I have more videos coming for me eating all over the world.